There's an old saying I like. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. Let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Feet, a nice safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Straight and level flight. First step here is adjusting our attitude. We're in a cruise attitude, pushing max power. To stay level at our target altitude, let's start by easing the throttle back to 1800 RPMs. Setting to keep your desired attitude. 
That's the key to straight and level flight. It saves you from constantly pushing or pulling on the yoke. And that gives you more time to enjoy the ride. If you want more practice using the trim, go for it. Whenever you're ready to pass the controls, I'll be here. Okay, I have control. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.